Hello everyone. In this video, let's talk about for loop. So for loop is more efficient loop structure in C programming. Okay, so more frequently we will use for loop in our programs. So this for loop it comes under entry control loop. As you know, loops are classified into two types: entry control and exit control. So entry control means first we will check for the condition and then we will execute the body of the loop. Okay, so these entry control loops they are also called as a pre-checking loops. Okay, so while and for both comes under entry control loop. Next, coming to the second type that is exit control loop. So there we will first execute the body of the loop. Later we will check for the condition. So that's why exit control loops are also called as a post-checking loops. As we are checking for the condition later, so we are calling them as a post-checking loops. So only do while comes under post-checking loop that is exit control loop. Okay. So coming to the for loop, it is an entry control loop that is here it is a pre-checking loop. That means first we will check for the condition and then we will execute the body of the loop. Okay. Suppose if you observe the syntax, see here for it is the keyword. Okay. So first of all here we will initial we will do the initialization of the variable and next we will check for the condition and here we have to use either incrementation or decrementation. Okay. So uh, it depends upon the logic which one you have to use increment operator or decrement operator. So which operator which operation you have to perform that will depend on that uh, uh, that is uh, mainly we have to uh, uh, select depending upon the logic of the program. Okay. So depending upon the logic of the program we have to select either incrementation or decrementation operation. Okay. Next here we will write the statements that is body of the loop statements. So this is the syntax for for loop. Okay. Now see this example. So for here initialization that is i variable is initialized to 1. Okay. Next one is condition checking that is here it is checking for the condition whether i is less than or equal to 10. Okay. And next i plus plus that is incrementation operation. Okay. So here this is the body of the loop statement. So like this we have to use a for loop in our programs. Now let me explain this for loop with an example program here. So this is the program to print the first 10 natural numbers using for loop. So first of all I have included the header files stdio.h and conio.h okay standard input output.h and console input output.h these two header files I have included. Next coming to the main function here I have taken a variable i int i okay i have declared a variable i so coming to the for loop see here first of all initialization so i is initialized to 1 next one is condition we have to specify so i is less than or equal to 10 and third one is here we have to use incrementation or decrementation so here i have used incrementation operation and within the body of the loop just i have i am going to print the value of i okay so see here how the execution takes place I will explain. So first initially for loop i is initialized to 1. Okay. So i now holds the value of 1. 1 is less than or equal to 10. The condition is true. So once the condition is true it will execute the body of the loop. That means printf i value that is one value is printed on the output screen. Again the cursor goes to the for loop. Okay. That means now within the for it will take this incrementation that means now i is now uh, i plus plus that means i is now holding a value of 2 as i plus plus means i equal to i plus 1 so previous i value is 1 so i equal to now 2 so again the, it will check for this condition is 2 less than or equal to 10 the condition is true right so it will print the value of 2 on the output screen okay again the cursor goes to i plus plus Okay, that is now i is holding the value of 3, 2 plus 1, that is 3, right? So again it will check for the condition is 2 less than or equal to 10, is 3 less than or equal to 10, the condition is true. So again it will print the value of 3 on the output screen, again i plus plus, that is now i is 4, 3 plus 1, that is 4. Again it will check for this condition is 4 less than or equal to 10, the condition is true. Again 4 values printed on the output screen. Okay. Again, the cursor goes to i++ that is i is now 5. 
i is holding a value of 5 i plus plus 4 plus 1 that is 5 so 5 is less than or equal to 10 the condition is true again the 5 value is printed on the output screen i plus plus 5 equal to 5 plus that is i equal to 5 plus 1 now i is 6 again it will check for the condition 6 less than or equal to 10 condition is true so it will print the value of 6 on the output screen like this until this condition gets false okay this loop will execute once this condition gets false the cursor just come out of the loop okay so like this for loop execution will be done okay now let me compile this program okay no errors let me run the code see the first first 10 natural numbers are printed on the output screen okay so like this we have to use for loop in our programs thank you